Hi, this is Greg Johnson with resourcesforlife.com and this is a follow-up video to a previous posting that I put out there about counting calories and I wanted to expand on that topic just a little bit. Um, one of the challenges with counting calories, I referred to it as kind of maintaining a budget, a calorie budget or balancing your calorie checkbook. One of the challenges is that in the same way you have a financial budget, you know, once a month you need to pay the bills, maybe you have an electric bill, a phone bill, cable TV, whatever it might be, you need to equally distribute your funds to pay these various bills, these various expenses, right? So you don't want to, say, have uh, a, a cost for renting videos, let's say. Let's say you spend, you know, $400 a month renting videos. Well, now all of a sudden, you don't have any money left to pay for your rent or your groceries or something, right? So you have to, you have to kind of spread your money around in order to meet your financial needs once a month. Well, the same is true with calories. You have essentially nutritional needs. And if you waste all of your calories on, let's say, going and eating a, a full cheesecake, right? There go all your calories for the day. Maybe you've, you've got some protein, you've got some uh, calcium or something, but uh, you've really missed out on a whole array of other nutritional needs that you have. So that's really ultimately one of the challenges. Not only do you need to meet or be just under your caloric requirement for the day, you need to really meet all of those nutritional requirements um, daily and uh, do so in a way that you know doesn't cause you to go over your calories which is kind of difficult so anyway that's the uh, nutritional insight and weight loss insight for the day take care